but it had it gone another inch I would have broke my arm here and I would have broke my arm here and probably more Oh my goodness, hi YouTube! <laughs> so, the crane was lifting the valve like this, right? And I was trying to guide it like this, and I had, I was, but I was holding onto the valve that was below me to keep me up in the ladder. And the crane driver, or operator, dropped the valve, like onto the spot it was supposed to go on. And my hand caught like this, and then it caught the valve like this. And by the grace of God, it did not go any farther. What, what is that smell? But if it did, it's probably me. It's dead. Is it like a stinky smell, or is it like an oil no, smell? It's an oil smell. It's like it's a so, smell. It's the smell of money. money. <laughs> But it had it gone another inch, I would have broke my arm here, and I would have broke my arm here, and probably more here, and it's sore in the joint, and sore here. So we're in Walmart doing some grocery shopping. It's actually kind of late, but Kevin got home. Hello. And we needed to grab a few things, so we are. Okay, we're in the car. Kevin has headed into the liquor store to get some Guinness because you have to have Guinness to make corned beef and cabbage. Just at the hungry. He's hungry. Okay, we'll see you guys at home. Okay, hey guys, it is now Saturday or St. Patrick's Day. See, you got our green on. Keely's Irish shirt. She's got it's a sweater. Yeah, it's like a sweater. Let me see your elbow or your shoulder. And a little gold clover on there. Oh, did I get you? Yeah, peach, peach. Hey, your, your shirt says. Anyway, we are watching Ireland versus England rugby. Oh, Ireland. And cooking some corned beef like we always do on St. Patrick's Day. And everyone's in their green. Now I have to go do the dishes because Kevin cleaned out the refrigerator, which means there's a ton of dirty dishes from leftover containers. Here we go. Did your team win? Six games. Ireland kicked everyone's butt. Who had any doubt? <laughs> like, if you're Ireland, how can, I mean, I feel like you, you have to spend your whole life guaranteeing that you don't lose this game on St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So, Kevin did not put on a green shirt. I don't need to. But he doesn't need to. <laughs> it's, uh, he's always wearing his green. That's right. Okay, um, I've decided to change his hairstyle for today because I just have all these little flyaway baby hairs. Every time I take a video, I can't stand it. It's just like flying out to the side. So, gonna change it. Okay, no more crazy flyaways. Opted for the braids, a little side twist. So Keely and I kind of match.
Okay, so it is about 4 p.m. and I'm kind of having a hankering for the Irish fries that the Irish pub here in town makes. So I'm actually gonna snag Keely and just her and I are gonna run and have a little Irish french fry date. They're kind of like a mix almost between, um, well, I'll just show you when we get there. You think it's worth all of this commotion to get some fries? <laughs> Okay, we went and got our Irish fries. How was it, Kitty? Did you like it? Yeah. yeah. It was so worth the wait. Yeah. It was packed in there. Like, I was expecting it to be busy, but we came kind of early. Like, we left the house around 4.40, so I thought, ah, most people won't be out, but that was not the case. Everyone was out. I mean, some people in there looked like they were a couple sheets to the window already. Of course, we got the boys some fries to go so they can have some at home. Because we're nice. Right? What? I said, because we're nice. <laughs> What do you have there? Are they good? How good? Really good. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for our vlog today. I hope you enjoyed joining us for our St. Patrick's Day. If you have any favorite traditions or recipes that your family likes, we'd love to hear those. Leave them in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next week, bye!